All right, Amani channel. This is webvideochefs.com where we serve up fresh video production recipes. And in this video, we're actually going to do something special. We're going to do a Skype uh, interview or a Skype uh, call, video call. And I'm going to do it with Chip Dizard, who's my partner on Web Video Chefs. He's actually a, a teacher. He teaches editing and video production in Baltimore for Baltimore City School District. And uh, we want to do a virtual presentation, so he's actually going to do a, a live Skype with me and broadcast it to the class, and we're going to see how it goes. So the first thing we want to do is have Skype opened up. Here's Skype. And uh, before I ever uh, do a Skype recording, and I'm on the Mac version of Skype, um, go into Skype Preferences, all right, and then we'll go to Audio Video. And that will allow us to do a couple of things here. So I want to, first of all, check uh, the video. All right. And uh, actually, I'm hearing something. So the, the fan is on um, overhead. The, the ceiling fan is causing a little bit of squeak. I don't know if you can hear it. So let me turn the ceiling fan off. Let me also close the door so the closet isn't open. It's kind of distracting a little bit. And you can also see the iron because I was ironing some clothes. So let me clean up a little bit first. All right, so that looks a little bit better. All right, the ceiling fan was causing a little bit of a strobe issue. Um, also on Skype, so I'm looking at the, the preferences here. So the microphone is set to built-in microphone, which is my computer microphone. I don't want that to be the audio source. I want to use the Duet, which is a, a audio interface that I use um, to take uh, the sound from my microphone because I'm using a RE20. You can see this uh, uh, Electro Voice RE20, so it's a studio mic. And um, I'm taking that, and it takes the analog signal and converts it to digital, and that's the way uh, you're getting the sound. So I want to make that sure that's all set up. So the shot looks fairly good, and um, looks all good. So now we're just going to sit and stand by and wait for Chip to call in, all right? Actually, I'm going to call him. Is Chip Dizard there? What up, Chip? All right, so I don't have any audio for you, so let's try to work that out first. Let me see here. Uh, hold on, let me go to preferences. Uh, it's all set up. Can you, you can hear me fine? Put, give me a thumbs up. Snap. Yeah. I can hear right you. Back. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. You can hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Can you hear me? Yeah, hold on. Put it okay. in my earpiece, yeah. though. Talk? You said what? Yeah, I'm good now. We're good. Okay. So I'm going to call you back when class starts about 10 minutes. I got to go to the main office, all right? All right, cool. You're, you're kind of backlit on my end, so I don't know if you can switch the camera angle and put some more light on the subject. Uh, yeah. But if you. All right, cool, man. All right, give me a call back. I'm standing by. Can you hear see me? I can see you and hear you. Yep. Okay, you you want to you want to do my uh screen test out my screen share first real quick? Um yeah, I got the bells about to ring, yo. So oh, really? Let me see something. Let me see something. Yeah, the bells about to ring. They about to call me down. Do you want to share do you want to share my screen or you just want to do it like this? We can just do it like this. Yeah, yeah, like this. It's fine. Okay. All right, cool. All right, man. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Chip. 
What's that? So basically, party. They say there were only six arrests. Most of those were open container for uh, having alcohol. So, Mr. Channel, everybody watch. He's, he's a video producer. I mean, he's a friend of mine. I'm going to bring him on Skype. Yeah, yes, I am. Can you hear me? Monty? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to go on real quick. Wait one second. Okay. Uh, let's, there he is. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Wave to everybody. Hey, everybody. How y'all hey, doing? Hey, we're doing fine, fine, fine. So, yeah, man, we just go, we just bring you in today and talk to my class just about um, careers in media. And you saw some of their videos they've done, you know what I mean, the PSAs. So I wanted you to talk about that and some other stuff for a couple minutes today, right? Okay, yeah. So you just want me to sort of start on how I got into media? Yeah, how, how'd you get into media? All right, so hey, class, how y'all doing today? You can turn the light on. He said, good. Awesome. All right, so awesome. you, you, did you guys see the story on, uh, in Gainesville, the Florida Gators, huh? Yep. So, yep. so basically, um, my background's in broadcast news. I worked as a news reporter for about 10 years. And uh, how I got into the media, um, after I graduated from high school, I took a year off. I didn't go straight to college. Um, I kind of worked and did some other things. And then when I decided to go back to college, instead of going to a four-year university, I went, to, I went to a community college. And, you know, some people will say go to a four-year university. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do when I, when I was in my college career. I didn't know what I wanted to do as a profession. So I found that by going to a community college, first of all, it was a lot more affordable. And you can pretty much get the same level of education, plus it's a little more one-on-one. -on -one. So um, I really enjoyed my community college experience. In my second year, I decided to take an announcing class. Uh, the community college that I went to in California, they had both a radio and TV station uh, that was broadcast on air. Uh, the TV station was a public broadcasting station, as was uh, the radio station was actually a 24-hour jazz station. So once I started taking the announcing class, I started volunteering at the radio station. I started um, producing PSAs, and I started volunteering to read the news in the morning. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, you're fine. And and uh, and and then I started announcing on air. So uh, uh, like I had a morning shift actually on the radio. I think I worked from like 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. to like 6 in the morning. So I would actually get up early in the morning. I would go to the radio station and work my air shift, and then I would go to class afterwards. So, um, you know, by the time I graduated, I already had experience working at both the TV station and the radio station. And then when I transferred out of state, I'm from California, so I ended up transferring to University of Florida. And as such, you know, that's why I, of course, love the Florida Gators. Um, not to say anything against the, the University of Maryland, anything like that. <laughs> I love their uniforms. Um, uh, I kept on studying, though. I kept on studying broadcasting. I kept working at the TV and radio stations at, at University of Florida. And then um, after I graduated, I got a job at a station in D.C. working on the assignment desk. So I wasn't on TV right away. Um, I actually worked kind of more um, in, a, in a support role. Um, the assignment desk, basically what they do is the assignment desk uh, makes sure that if there's any breaking news, that they assign crews and that the news is covered um, on a day-to-day -day basis. So they get press releases. They take viewer calls. They're basically like the, the dispatch uh, center for any news operation. So after I did that for about six months, I, I was I was um, interested in reporting. I was I, I put together a resume tape. And anytime you want to work on TV, you need to put together a, what's called a resume reel. So instead of having like a paper resume, you actually have to have a video which shows the stories that you've covered. At least uh, gives news directors or people hiring an example of how you look and how you sound. And so um, I had a little resume tape. It wasn't very good, but it was good enough to get my foot in the door at the station in Tampa, Florida, which was hiring a reporter trainee. So I actually worked behind the scenes for about um, a year. Um, I was writing. I was editing. I was learning how to shoot. 
Um, I worked at the assignment desk a little bit. I started writing stories and then producing stories. And then finally, after about a year, they let me start, as I say, babbling on camera because, you know, at first I wasn't very good. But, you know, anything that you do in life, if you keep doing it well long enough and you get proficient in it, um, you'll get better at it. And so that's what I found. So I ended up working in Tampa for about eight years. I was on air for about seven years. And then after I left Tampa, I moved to Atlanta to work for Black Family Channel, which was a network in Atlanta. And that's actually how I met uh, Mr. Desard. Um, he was uh, producing videos on YouTube and I was working on a citizen journalism show that was uh, trying to incorporate community stories into the programming. And that's uh, that's how it all started. So um, that's let really how I got it. Let me, ask, let me ask you a question real quick. Um, how did you when, when, when did you know that you went on camera the first time? And tell me your first experience when you went on camera the first time. Uh, so the first, ironically, the first story that I ever did was a, a gator in a lake in Tampa. There was some um, apartment community or some uh, residence, residential community, and there was a rogue gator that was, like, squatting in the lake. And so I kind of did a story about how uh, the residents were concerned about the gator and how they captured the gator. And that was my first story. It was in 19, I think it was in 1990, around September 1999 is when when my first story hit air. And after that, I, I they basically uh, made me a full-time reporter shortly thereafter. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Mr. Channel. So we're going to sign off here. And uh, thank you for stopping by. And we're going to finish the rest of our class here. Uh, he yeah he's in Atlanta. This is Skype, so this will be high tech here. Are they seeing me on the Are they seeing me on the big screen, Chip? Yep. Here we go. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much, and uh, I'd love to come back and talk to you guys some more about what I'm doing now because I don't work in news anymore. I, I've actually left that business full time. I work in PR, so I could talk to you about some other careers as well, as well as starting your own business. Don't don't forget about being an entrepreneur. That's also very important. All right, we'll talk to you later. Peace, peace. Thanks, man. Yep. All right. Let me hang up here. All right. So that was the call that uh, we just did with Chip Desard in his class up in Baltimore. Um, pretty much you saw Chip had uh, the screen projected. He had the, the Skype call projected on the screen so the kids could talk to me that way. They would, could walk up and then talk. And it worked out fairly well. All right. So it was a good way to... Uh, make uh i guess enhance your classroom experience you can bring in professionals from all over basically and have them present to your class virtually using skype amani channel if you have any questions ask away video chefs go ahead and leave a comment like subscribe talk to you soon thanks